Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. So, scrambled eggs, ham, toast, yogurt, and my coffee. I was going to put ketchup, but oh well. I forgot. So, yesterday... What did I do? I didn't do much. Today's Wednesday. I'm not going to do a whole lot. Friday. I got something to do. But. I'll be taking a bus tonight into Edmonton. I'll tell you about it once everything is all settled and everything. I'm not going to mention it right now. But. And. Once everything's settled. Today. I'm just going to watch it. Look at the job bank and that. Someone said. In the comments about executive job. No, no, I didn't say that. I said reception. Like a secretary. Then you first walk in. The receptionist. Not in the back. Not the administrator. Not executive. And not executive. I just want the small role. The small job. The receptionist. Jesus. Handles the whole the phones. She handles out front, and then they give her the filing, and they get her to type up a few things and whatnot, and maybe scan documents, check emails, schedule meetings, appointment, and just take up just prevail the front. I don't want administrative, I said. Executive means they're like just one step down from the supervisor. They they do a lot for the supervisor. They're committed to one one or can be up to three anyway. I was executive before and they were three. So if I didn't have time to do something, because I was working on other projects, then I would bring it to the receptionist and see if she had time, because a lot of times they have that spare time. Administrative is in the middle. They do like payroll, accounts payable, accounts receivable, um... Because uh, they're part of everything, I'm in. But I don't want to do them in. I want to do, some people call it old, 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 uh, old days we used to call it secretary. Now it's receptionist. They're at the desk. If it's a small company, then they have administrative, which they call reception. you got to watch the duties because... They got the receptionist doing everything. Accounts payable, accounts receivable, invoicing, and you got to watch what the duties are and how much it is an hour because if they expect you to be a receptionist and do all that and don't pay you for administrative because they get paid more. So you got to watch. Because some employers, they don't know the difference. They do, but they don't want to pay the extra money. Bigger companies, they don't. They know the difference. And bigger companies, there's a lot for, for the receptions to do. She can't do everything. And they know it. They even got a country... Accounts receivable, accounts payable, they got a payroll.
they have three or four administrators, assistant. But I just want. I worked on all. I worked in all. All three. Executive, I didn't mind when I was young, and but executive, a lot of times they have to stay late and everything, and I got to catch the bus. I can't be, I got to do that ahead of time. I just want to be a receptionist. You go in, you go out, and you never, if you're nine to five, you're nine to five. They don't ask to stay over. receptionists because when the office closed it's closed you got no more clients coming in you got no more phone calls if they do you direct the phone to whoever or whatever they usually have a phone service or it just goes straight to voicemail saying that they're closed and open at eight or nine so the receptionist can leave. She gets paid the last of all of them. But that's why I look over everything because we get these small companies that want to pay receptionist wage, but If the duties is accounts receivable, accounts payable, and all that, and they put down reception, like how many people is in that, I go to the website and see how big this company is and how many employees is in it. And I always, if, if I was, when I was executive and we, everything's passed down to the receptionist, right? Like, little things, you know? I wouldn't give her a big thing, I would just go down a big project. They made me a project that was doing up the binders and doing this and that and I'm working on a big project, well, and it's ongoing because I asked the, uh, the manager or supervisor, whoever gave me the project, what's the timeline, you know? When does this have to be done? And they say, oh, it's just an ongoing thing. Or that it has to be done by the end of the month, or I find out to that when I went down to the receptionist. I tell her it's not, I wouldn't give her something that was like had to be done that day because I know she's busy and she got her own duties to do, you know. I tell her I'm swamped and can you start it whenever? Let me know and then I c it has to be done by a certain time. And then when I'm done my big projects and I'm not that busy then I will go down to the rest receptionist, see how much far she got. And then I would finish it. I'd say I can finish it unless you want to, it's all totally up to you, but I got spare time and And I'd make sure I wouldn't take credit if I grabbed a hold of it. I make sure I tell the manager or whatever there I had to had to get help from the receptionist because I was busy doing that project there and that was top priority. And I always did a to-do list. Move it, move it day by day. my tasks that I couldn't get done that day I'd make sure I was always had a to-do list 
Not because I was forgetful. It just you get so much, and you put your top top ones on top, and the stuff on the bottom, and the next day if you have to prioritize it. You have to put it in a list of to dos. What has to be done, and what can wait a while, and what needs needs to be done eventually. Yeah, so that's what I'm looking for, receptionist. I never ever, well I worked in accounts receivable one, one time. I always worked at reception pretty much. I, I administrative I did, I wasn't at, at revenue there at HR audit and so at, who, at uh, Revenue, I was a minis, a minimi, uh, administrative assistant because they had their own reception. Um, just as I was. I probably was a min more than I was reception. I know I was reception at a couple places, receptionist at the front. They color coded it. It was a big project. Human resources I had to do all the files. They went by name and in color. They had a big binder, of course, or a file, file folder, with a person's name on it. And then they had little, little or one. And they had black, yellow, green, so whatever papers that, the black one was the important one. That was with all the, when they applied and their resume and any, anything like that. So, payroll. Huh? Huh? She's pressing her teeth and talking. Must be talking to Ian. So, the black ones would be for... Well, no. Wait, now. The yellow one folder with the label yellow was uh, something else. And then they were grievance, like uh, in a brown one, like if someone passed away, a grievance uh, paper, a form paper says who is going, who will, uh, is a beneficiary, then there's, uh, the security check, that was, uh, another one, and so each, so if someone in accounts receivable, or I had to update, it was good 10 years, now I think it's five, I had to update the security clearances and stuff, and I knew just to go right to the yellow folder or whatever. I didn't have to go through the whole folder looking. So that's why. Anyway, so that that was a big project. And I was administrative. They couldn't do it at reception. One thing, people coming and going, they could see person, uh, people's personal information. Um just too busy something might get misplaced or something might someone might come and put something right on the receptionist's desk like some people don't don't treat the receptionist very good they'll go up and put something right on desk and say i need this done just like that and walk off don't say when where how nothing don't even explain I stopped them when I was receptionist because I I covered for the receptionist at lunchtime while, um, on her lunch breaks and that. And if they put anything on my desk, I stopped them. I say, hey, 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 I have to know how to do what you want and when. 
this has to be done because, I mean, so some of them, they just throw something. I need this done and walk away. It's sort of like some someone at a restaurant and they, because I bust tables before at the Chinese restaurant there, at them waitress and then sometimes I'd go in and bust tables and they'll just come with a plate and just, you know what I mean? Like, leave it on the table. I'm going to get it when you leave. And they, and they they sort of like throw it at you or you walk by. They know you're a bus person. Leave it there. Like, anyhow. Oh. But I stop them. I put them people in their place. I don't care. You're not going to treat me like that. You got to treat me with respect. You got to tell me. Okay. What do you want done? And when does it have to be done? Because then I can put it in my to-do list. That's what I tell them. And if a manager comes in and he throws something at me, then I ask him. I say, because I have a project that I just, I just got. So this has to be done because I got to prioritize. I don't care if this is who's who. I just say, <clears throat> he says it's got to be done right away. Usually they say, well, what is it? Because they know, right? There's a manager. He's just supervisor, and he thinks he's a manager sort of thing. And I tell him, he goes, oh, that can be done. That don't have to be done for three, four days. I say, okay, so yours, yours come first then? And then if he comes and asks me, I just say, I had something that was more more important to do if you don't like it let him go talk to the manager he'll say yeah i told her to i'm not going to write him out but i'll just say something came up that was more <clears throat> more uh need, need uh, a tight deadline or something like that you know i wouldn't say more important but just something that has to be done before yours if you don't like it too bad and if he argues with, then if he argues with me, no, mine has to be done tomorrow, I'll say, well, that's not what so-and-so said, because I'm working on his project. He said, yours can wait. He wants his done now. If you want it done tomorrow, I can hand it over to you, and you can get one of the amends. You know, like there's ways around it, right? Or the executive or whatever, if they have other, but... Because they just throw things right at the secretary. All, all she does is file and answer home. That's all she does. And make coffee. And No. There's a lot more than that. <sighs> so. Think about it. If I do your projects. That means everyone in the office I'm doing. Because a lot of times accounts payable. They need something that accounts receivable need something done. They need their own invoices, of course, stamps, it's, it's dated and, and uh, oh, uh, filed afterwards, but they need it in, in numbers, like the numbers in, uh, put together, like the invoice number. They, uh, not dated, but by number, you know what I mean? Sort it. They need it sorted out and mailed out and whatever you got to do labels you got to do an envelope for it so you can mail it out and you know there's there's so many different things if they don't have time to do it because sometimes you have one admin and she got to do payroll and she got to do accounts receivable accounts payable so of course she needs help because that's simple stuff that the receptionist can do that will take an hour, an hour or two off of her time that she can do. And if it's pay week, oh, I'm going to look. I don't want my pay uh, late, so yeah, whatever help. It's pay, pay week? I know, you know. Anyhow. So that's about it. Today I'm just going to look at the, that's why I just, I read it, eh, I make sure, you know, make sure the bus goes out that way and just there's little things when the job comes up because out there, NISCU, the bus, 
on demand goes way, way up. Like, way up. Like, it's pretty good, and their hours are good. They start, like, 6 in the morning until 11 at night, so. But there's a, a lot more, you know. Yes. So that's it for today. See you tomorrow. Stay safe and it's cigarette time.